too hard they was purchased for 1.2 million by Nathan Tinkler he had to live in the shadows of Black Caviar being the, the, the younger brother he was always the underdog sort of thing he, he was by Casino Prince first morning I ever got the opportunity to sit on him he uh, yeah, jumped out the other horse gave me a touch up he was one of these horses that once you showed him once he went oh okay that's what you want me to do then he just went let rip and uh, yeah, the hair stood up on the back of my neck and I remember calling Amanda on the way home and going, I think I've found the real deal. An important day for, uh, for all too hard. He looks the part today, doesn't he? He looks fantastic. Yeah, they're saying if he brings the A-grade game, he'll win. We know Piero, he's walking around and... So the match between Piero all too hard was like a heavyweight fight. He's a class horse. I, I think he'll win and win easily. And you might say I was me being confident, but I, I just think he's the best horse in the race. The unbeaten Piero comes up into the stalls. Gay Waterhouse, Nashville Willow, their only instructions would have been go to the front, dictate this race. They're off. And Piero jump reasonably. He's one of the last actually and Rewilla's niggling and pushing. Where's Nash was slow away. He'd give him a rev and he did a lot of work in that first two to three hundred metres up that hill. And at the end of the field is all too hard. I raced in a, in a position right out the back. I wasn't fortunate enough to find the back of the right horse to get towed into the race, so I had to come out a little bit early and do my own work. Normally I would have liked to have stayed in and get a little bit of a cushier run into the home bend, but I had to go out and, and use his acceleration. He had a great turn of foot. All two hearts putting in a run. All two hearts coming on. So I had to use that a bit earlier than normal because Piero was off and gone with the prize there looking around the home band. He'd put a big space on us. I was concerned that I made such a long run that I could get to the 100 metre mark and, and start to run out of petrol. All Too Hard's got his chance. He's coming with momentum. Piero has to fight. All Too Hard's grabbed him. And All Too Hard has won it. All Too Hard by a half a length, Piero. I think I did empty out, but Piero emptied out before me. Once I got Within a length of him, I think all too hard and I could smell blood. This magnificent cult delivers today in emphatic style. We've gone from a horse that was on the canvas, he had to lift. Good horses get you out of trouble and that's what he did for us. He, he produced on the day, he was big, strong, powerful and he deserved to win a group one. The Caulfield Guineas day was just magic there, it was just a fantastic journey that we had his two and three year old years. and. Caulfield Guineas was the grand final, then he went on to the Cox Plate. After that, Chris Munts jumped the board and he just got beaten by Ocean Park. He was so near and so far from being, being a champion. <laughs>